It's another week and time for another edition of the Tax Talk. My name is Oin Lala Sally, and this week we have a big story edition all set for you. The Tax Talk is a tax-centric show for every resident of Lagos State that deals with the tax terrain of the state. We provide you with valuable information so that your obligations can be carried out from a place of knowledge of the systems put in place. The topic of the day will be shared once we get back from business news. This is business news. As taxation plays a crucial role in fostering economic growth and development, the Chartered Institute of Taxation of Nigeria, CITN, has emphasized the importance of citizens fulfilling their tax responsibility to the government. Dr. Yemi Sani, a council member of the CITN and chairman of the 26th Annual Tax Conference, who made this known in a recent interview on the tax talk, said, by contributing to the tax system, individuals and businesses can support the country's infrastructure, social programs, and overall economic stability. Speaking on the topic, citizens engagement and task compliance in Lagos State, he noted it is essential for all Nigerians to understand their tax obligations and fulfill them promptly and accurately. This includes filing tax returns, paying taxes on time, and keeping accurate records of income and expenses. While reiterating the Institute's pivotal role in educating and empowering taxpayers in fulfilling their tax obligations to the government, Sunny said CITN adopts a multifaceted approach to disseminating tax-related information and fostering citizen engagement. According to him, one of the primary strategies involves leveraging the expertise of licensed tax practitioners who work closely with taxpayers. He said through workshops and seminars, both members and non-members of the Institute to receive training on the importance of tax compliance as the educational initiative not only benefits taxpayers by helping them understand their obligations but also contribute to reducing the administrative burden on tax authorities. Dr. Sane retreating that the CITM maintains the balance among all the stakeholders to ensure proper tax administration said the Institute and the Lagos State Internal Revenue Service have a symbiotic relationship as it engages in capacity building for the LIRS staff by engaging them in mandatory and professional programs of the Institute to keep them abreast of the current trends in the tax laws. Speaking further, he said in terms of advocacy, whether taxpayers feel aggrieved, the LIRS has always been very responsive to issues anytime such matters are tabled before them. In a bid to alleviate the challenges faced by residents amid economic difficulties, Lagos State Governor Mr. Babajide Songulu has officially inaugurated the Eco Cares Initiative. The Social Intervention Program is a ray of hope for about 500,000 households in the state, spanning across 20 local government areas and 37 local council development areas. Supervised by the Special Dispensation Advisory Committee on Social Interventions, a non-partisan body comprising 11 members, the EcoCase Initiative aims to provide essential support to the most vulnerable members of the society. The program's launch held at Lagos House Alao Saikeja was attended by key dignitaries including Deputy Governor Dr. Femi Hamzat and other government officials. The distribution of food items such as 10 kg rice, 5 kg of gari, 5 kg of beans and tomatoes to over 500,000 households underscores the government's commitment to addressing the immediate needs of the less privileged. The State Commissioner for Information and Strategy, Mr. Gwengao Motosho, held the Eco Cares Initiative as a significant milestone in the administration's commitment to fulfilling promises made to the people. He said the Onje Eco program offering discounted food items at Sunday markets has already garnered positive feedback from residents, highlighting the government's empathy and responsiveness to the community's needs. As the government continues to roll out comprehensive socio-economic interventions, including discounted transportation services and free medical benefit, the impact of those initiatives on the lives of Lagosians cannot be understated. 
Governor Samolu's unwavering dedication to improving the well-being of all residents, especially the most vulnerable, set a commendable example for effective governance and compassionate leadership. That's it on Business News. I've been making a start shortlist business. They give them 150k to my friends. Let's do this. Ah. Taxes? I didn't even think about this. So I'll have to pay tax to build a house in Lagos. Maybe I should take a remote job. That way, I can avoid taxes. But wait, too. bloggers and content creators pay taxes too. So tax officials in Lagos monitor digital space for tax payment. Wait, why don't I start importing and exporting of phones and gadgets? Bro, have fun now. Femo, have fun. Bro, I won't join the business where they do. Oh, small. You just need money. I hope you have your tax clearance certificate. Tax? Are you kidding me? Without it. Shishi, you know if you do. You have to visit the nearest tax office. I can't believe it. There's no way out of this. I have to face my tax obligations if I want to start a life in Lagos. Dear Lagosians, your taxes enable the government to invest in education, healthcare, security, housing, and many more. By continuing to pay your taxes, you are investing in a brighter future for all. This message is brought to you by the Lagos State Internal Revenue Service, LIRS. Just gone by was business news. We have the big story ready to go, and today we are examining taxpayer rights and responsibilities, empowering citizens in the tax system. What are your obligations and rights if you pay your tax? Are there things you need to be aware of as a taxpayer? Is the system something you need to familiarize yourself with? All that and more, we take a critical look as we incorporate the views and expertise of our experts. Take a listen. This is the big story. In the bustling city of Lagos, where over 20 million people call home, the Lagos Internal Revenue Service holds a pivotal role in the city's economic machinery. Today, we explore the subject of the rights and duties of taxpayers, the importance of upholding taxpayer rights, and the effort of the Lagos Internal Revenue Service to empower citizens in the tax system. As we unravel the tapestry of taxpayer rights and responsibility, we discover a delicate balance between rights and obligations. Section 57 of the Personal Income Tax Act makes it a duty for the tax authority to give adequate notification to the taxpayer. So for instance, the taxpayer must be assessed to tax and a notice of assessment must be sent by the tax authority to the taxpayer. So this is the right of the taxpayer. So we just don't have figures flying from the skies and, uh, you know, to be uh, levied against the taxpayer, no. And riding on that right of notification is also the right of the taxpayer to object to the assessment. When you get an assessment notice, when a tax payer gets an assessment notice, he or she has got 30 days, um, you know, to object to that assessment. Section 58 of the Personal Income Tax, yet again, provides, you know, for the circumstances where the tax payer can object to any assessment. And upon objection, the taxpayer has also got the right to be invited by the tax authority for reconciliation. And upon reconciliation, if the taxpayer still feels aggrieved, then another right of the taxpayer is to actually proceed to appeal against that um, particular assessment to the Tax Appeal Tribunal. 
And of course, the taxpayer has got the right to retain any tax uh, consultant of his or her choice to represent him or her uh, with the tax authority. And lastly, the taxpayer has got what I would call a, a, an inalienable right to confidentiality of information given to the tax authority. And that can only be breached by certain exceptions when it comes to you know, provision of that information to another tax authority or by a court order. Taxpayers are afforded the right to fair treatment, prompt service, and confidentiality alongside access to information and avenues for complaint. Yet, with these privileges comes the weight of responsibilities. Taxpayers shudder the weight of responsibility to maintain meticulous record keeping, make honest declarations of information, file accurate income returns to the LIRS, and make tax payments as and when due. Section 241F of the Nigerian Constitution makes it a very sacred duty for every taxable uh, citizen of Nigeria to declare his income honestly and then to pay the accrued taxes to the tax authority, depending on where the taxpayer is resident in Nigeria. So this is a very, very important duty and is a constitutional one. We need to emphasize that. Also, the personal income tax makes it another sacred duty for the taxpayer to keep accurate books of records. And I'm going to explain why this is important. If you do not keep adequate books of records, of your transactions, it becomes very difficult for you to file your returns. If you're filing your returns, most times you may now be filing false returns, which is an offense under the law. And then also, the duty to provide accurate information. And then of course, like I said earlier, documentation of your transaction records is um, very, very important because the tax authority from time to time, we may request that you buttress your claims, especially where you have issues with reconciliation of assessments. There is a need to uphold taxpayer rights and responsibilities to promote a fair and equitable tax system. This entails fairness and equity in tax administration to promote voluntary compliance and trust in the tax system and protect taxpayers' privacy and confidentiality. This is done to encourage transparency and accountability as this also helps to prevent tax evasion and ensures that taxes are used for the common good of all citizens. The rights of the taxpayer and the responsibility of the, of the, of the tax authority uh, to the taxpayer, you know, they, when there is a good balance, it creates a very, very effective um, tax paying system. And then also, you know, um, it helps to move the society forward. And we do not take lightly any information that we get concerning any untoward practice by um, the agency or what might have been an infringement. Tax is the life wire or what I like to describe as the blood in the veins of the government. The taxpayer that is alive to his or her responsibilities in the society is actually helping the government and the country to grow. So when you do the right thing as a taxpayer, you're fulfilling your constitutional responsibility 
and then you are helping your country to grow. As we uncover the mechanisms behind safeguarding taxpayer rights, one fact becomes evident. The Lagos State Internal Revenue Service, LIRS, is vigilant in its commitment to address any violations. The LIRS don't just investigate complaints, they take swift and decisive action when necessary. Redresses offered and procedures are continuously reviewed and improved upon to prevent future occurrences. In the maze of tax laws, the Lagos Internal Revenue Service, LIRS, stands as a beacon of support for her taxpayers. Through many different efforts from public education programs to taxpayer support centers and hotlines, LIRS ensures that citizens have the resources they need to navigate the system with confidence. Uh, LIRS, as the foremost um, state tax uh, authority in the country, is a very, very professional agency and it holds the um, rights of taxpayers very dear to its heart. Even in the case where you forget, they always do, they always get to remind you anyways, I mean, monthly. And this is not just by automated notifications. Uh, like I said, I think our relationship with the tax offices have even grown up to the point where they call. And it's always a courtesy call, like, you haven't filed your payee this month, what's going on, you know, and things like that. So yes, we are well aware of those um, responsibilities. Um, and for example, filing returns, and because of the ease anyways that, you know, the innovations have brought these days, um, it makes it some sort of easier. We used to, in the past, maybe con uh, contract all of these filings to a consultant to do, but this is something with our internal accounting team, you know, we can do that, you know, just on the fly. So yes, we are well aware of our responsibilities today. There is nothing that is done at LRS that is not statutory. In fact, there cannot be taxation without an enabling law. And those laws clearly spell out you know, what the tax authority can do and what the taxpayer also can do. The LRS is a very, very law-abiding outfit. It keeps to the dictates of all extant tax laws and regulations. We have provided different robust avenues for the taxpayers to come forward and report any issue of infringement to their rights. One hallmark of the Lagos Internal Revenue Service is its commitment to resolving disputes between taxpayers and the agency. With established avenues for fair resolution, such as mediation and alternative dispute resolution, the LIRS ensures that conflicts are addressed impartially. Taxpayers' education is at the core of the LIRS. One of the strategies deployed by the LIRS is to educate taxpayers on their rights and responsibilities. The LIRS does this by using public awareness campaigns, taxpayer education programs, collaboration with tax professionals and stakeholders, and access to user-friendly resources. This also includes providing regular updates and information through its official website www.lirs.gov.ng and all social media channels. Apart from that, we have uh, billboards in many parts of the state advertising, notifying uh, the teaming populace about their uh, tax obligations from time to time. And then, of course, we, we engage in the different sponsorship of various initiatives, such as uh, tax clubs in schools, secondary schools, universities, you know, and they have free access to come to us from time to time. We sponsor their activities as well. And then, uh, lastly, we have a very robust collaboration with uh, the private sector, organized private sector. 
you know, anytime they are having events, we are we are there, you know, to also have opportunity to engage with them um, with taxpayers. Understanding your rights and responsibilities as a taxpayer is crucial for upholding a fair and equitable tax system. Welcome back from the big story. I hope you were able to get a better grasp of the rights and responsibilities of taxpayers and how citizens can be empowered within the tax system. Every other week, we take the time to break a chosen area of taxation down for you so that you have a holistic view of things. That way, you're better familiarized with the issue. Let's take a short break. When we get back, more on the tax talk. issue of taxes is a legal obligation. However, here on the Tax Talk, we take the time to share with you some of the projects that have benefited from the payment of taxes as a way to encourage you to keep carrying out your legal obligation. That's the major way the government gets funds to carry out its responsibilities to the residents of the state. Time now for Tax Did It. Last six weeks, we have gone ahead to package food stop with package edibles into sack, which we will be distributing through either local government, through the CDCs and CDAs, through the unions, through all of the various stakeholders that we have, religious bodies, and we'll ensure that these things get to the vulnerable in our society. It's been done, we've arranged them. We've packaged them, we've organized them. Now is the time where we want to begin to distribute them directly. And the objective is to, for us to be able to ensure that food is not one of the issues that we continue to challenge the vulnerable in our society. We're going to be running a medical outreach program. Out here today, the Minister of Health is ready and they have been galvanized to start the medical outreach immediately. They have put all of their processes together and they are going to be running this medical outreach in all of our three senatorial districts and I think in a total of six locations. And what the outreach will do is to be able to give medical attention to a lot of our citizens that will be coming up that do not want to go to our regular hospitals and they will be treated at the medical outreach free of charge. It's unbelievable how time has flown past on today's edition of the Tax Talk. I'm sure you enjoy staying with us and definitely picked up one or two things along the way. Don't forget to engage with us on YouTube and our various social media handles just in case you missed anything in the course of the show. We'll be back next week with another episode of the Tax Talk and I trust that you'll be with us. My name is Oilala Saleh. See you next week. <laughs>